those makeshift signs that are on a popsicle stick or hung on the side of a telephone pole and it says, we pay cash for houses. Well, guess what? Those people don't actually pay cash for houses. They use my cash. I'm going to open up all of the slides. So rather than flying them in individually, I'm gonna give all of them to you on this topic here on number one. This will allow you to either take a picture with your camera phone or you can do a screen grab. I don't care how you get the info, just get the info, okay? Step number one, find the borrower. Now that Craigslist ad that I had you run about 10 minutes ago, that's going to get borrowers calling you. The people that are looking for funding are gonna be calling you on your ad. But we're not just gonna leave it to the ad, we're going to call other investors. You guys have ever been driving around and you see those, those makeshift signs that are on a popsicle stick or hung on the side of a telephone pole and it says, we pay cash for houses? Well, guess what? Those people don't actually pay cash for houses. They use my cash, okay? So all of those real estate investor wholesalers that are running those bandit signs, they don't have any money. Okay, that's why they're wholesaling. If they knew what they were doing, they would be buying those assets and cash flowing them uh, or brokering private money loans on those assets. You guys are gonna be the difference makers. You're gonna call those bandit signs. You're going to offer to be the direct lender for those people. You're gonna bring them to me. I'm gonna pay you every time they borrow money. Okay. You could also attend real estate investments associations. You could call Craigslist or you could run newspaper ads. You could go to foreclosure auctions. Okay, guys, anybody who's going to foreclosure auction is going to pay with all cash. Do they really want to carry that asset in cash? No, let them pay cash to buy it, but then bring them to me. I will refinance their deal and they can now carry their inventory using Kogo's capital. You get paid every time they borrow money. You could attend real estate seminars and events. You guys no doubt see these groups coming into town that are putting on these real estate investment seminars. Well, guess what? They're out there teaching people how to, how to find the deals, but they're not helping these people get funding for those deals. You become the source for getting funding on those things. You could talk to mortgage brokers who are always looking for other sources of capital. You could visit online real estate forums. You could get referrals from other investors. You could contact real estate agents that have stale listings sitting there and ask them if they know any investors that would like to purchase that listing. You'll provide the funding. Guys, there's a million ways and a million places to find these real estate investor clients that you can get paid simply for bringing them to us. We will show you where to find them and how to make them your clients, okay?